Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. And of course, in this uh, wonderful episode, we are going to be looking at uh, the properties, properties, and tests for water. Okay, these are common questions that come out what in your jam. Free marks. Question you go to get free marks in jam. All right. So properties and tests for water. All right. Do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by OT School Jam app. All right. So if I don't like this video, what you have done is very, very wrong. Okay. You are doing waiting no good if you have not liked this video. So please click on that like button immediately now. Now do an now, beg. Do an before we continue. All right. Do not forget to also subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. Oh. So you're not paying money to somebody or anything. All right. So just click on that what uh, rest subscribe button below this video. All right. And then do not forget to share our video. Please share. Now click on that share button. Share. Share to your WhatsApp, to your Facebook. Please and please let other students what join our classes and what and learn much, much better. All right. So please. Uh, let's continue properties and tests for water. Before we continue, let us take a question from the OT School Jump app. All right. Uh, this is a 2022 question number 26. 2022 question number 26. It says, with it says, when cobalt 2 chloride, when cobalt 2 chloride is added to water, it turns blue to it turns blue to A green, B yellow, C pink, D red. All right. The answer is very obvious there. But if you are, if you don't know properties or the test for what water you you, you no go feel no one you know you no get uh, uh, say say you do bug better bug better all right so please not bug better we will learn it together today and go to see what it is so that app get the hotel school jump app it is all you need to succeed in exam has all the past questions as what a uh, classroom feature that has lecture notes Structured according to the jam syllabus, ask questions at feature, ask you TME mock challenge every Saturday. Jam mock, you participate in jam mock challenge every Saturday on the application. All right, you compete to meet win prizes, get you to jam pass questions, see your result release every Saturday. Also, so easy as in makes life easy for you. All right, and of course, you'll not be you not have anxiety when they say jam have release result. So please go and get the app, activate it for a little fee, pay the sacrifice, pass your exam at once. Let's go test. Properties and tests for water. So, first of all, I want to begin with what? With the physical properties. Physical properties of what? Of water. Okay? And number one, we say that water is clear and colorless. Say that water is clear and colorless. So, it is clear and colorless. Well, I mean, you don't see blue water before. Okay, so that you have drank blue water before, okay, or red water. Okay, all right, so you have what water is supposed to be clear, very clear, and what and colorless. So that's one of the first physical properties of water. Then also, number two, it is tasteless and odorless. It is tasteless, tasteless, and odorless. All right, so this is another what. Uh, Property of what of water? It is what it is tasteless. Water's water water no supposed to get taste. Okay, it is tasteless and what and odorless. No supposed to be smell. Okay, it tasteless and what and odorless. All right. So likewise, it boils number three. It boils at a temperature of what hundred degree was Celsius. All right. So but if this is what, remember that what you are considering here is what is properties of water when pure. Okay? Properties of water when pure. Okay? This is what we are considering. Properties of water when it is what? Pure. That's why I say it is clear and colorless. So, all right? So, it is tasteless so, and odorless. So, it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay? When pure. All right? But it can boil what's either slightly lower or slightly higher. All right? When it is what? Impure. Okay? So, generally, it depends on the what? On the type of impurities. Okay? That are what? That has added what? Or dissolved in what? In the water. Okay? So, Water can can what can what can boil lower than hundred degrees Celsius depending on the what on the impurity. So can what boil let's say slightly lower or higher when it is what impure. Okay, slightly lower or higher when 
impure, all right? So please, you must take note of that. It boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, all right? So also, it freezes at zero degrees Celsius, number four. It freezes at zero degree Celsius, okay? So that's when it turns to what? Ice, all right? It freezes at what? At zero degree Celsius or, or what? Uh, lower or lower when impure, okay? So the freezing point of what? Of an impure water, all right? The freezing point of an impure water of what? Usually what? Lower than what? Than zero, okay? So it's, it freezes at what? At zero degree Celsius or lower when it is what impure, all right. And this phenomenon is called what uh, depression of freezing point. We call it depression, depression of freezing point. Okay, all right. So we are going to what look at again uh, another property. It has a maximum density at four degree Celsius. Okay, water has five. Water has a maximum density at four degree wash Celsius. Okay, water has a maximum density at four degrees Celsius. I'm sure you must have heard of anomalous expansion of water before. All right, so you must have, must have heard of that phenomenon before. Okay, so water behaves what and abnormally. It, it has what it behaves what it does not behave like the way what other what substances would behave. Generally, when you hit something. Okay, let me explain anomalous expansion of water for you very well so that you get it once and for all, all right? So when you hit something, all right? So that's that's sometimes supposed to work, supposed to expand. Okay, when you hit something, it's supposed to work, supposed to expand. All right, but when you cool it down, it's supposed to work, contract a bit. All right, so when you hit substances, generally they are supposed to work, expand, and when you cool them, they are supposed to contract. But water does not do so. Once you hit water. From zero degree Celsius to what four degree Celsius, eh? Temperature has increased, okay. But what this water that you are seeing here, so okay, it will not expand from zero to four degree Celsius. It will not what expand, all right. So water does not expand as you hit it from zero degree Celsius to four degree Celsius, okay. What happens at that point is that what it it contracts at that at that point, okay. It contracts instead of what expanding. That is what we call the anomalous expansion of what of water. The anomaly in what in the expansion, all right, is what makes us to call it anomalous expansion of water and it is at this temperature at four degrees Celsius at four degrees Celsius that it has its maximum temperature oh sorry it has its maximum density rather all right it is at this temperature that it has its what maximum density okay so water has a maximum density at four degree was Celsius all right so it will what as you what as you heat water okay you can see the density that's still will be going up all right, as you are hitting it to it from zero to four degrees Celsius, the density will be going up. When it gets to four degrees Celsius, the density will to start declining. Okay, so water has its maximum density at four degrees Celsius. All right, so and also a normal expansion of water as you would heat water from zero to four degrees Celsius instead of it what to expand it's what it contracts okay the opposite happens all right so these are the physical properties of what of water that we are going to look at so let us now quickly go uh, of course the chemical properties are not found between uh water reacts with what with metals and their oxides okay metal reacts with what uh, so the water reacts with metals and their oxides it reacts also with what with non-metals and their oxides and also they react with what with organic compounds all right so those are what the chemical properties of water if you, let's say you want to really really read more about them okay you can well, just check what your textbooks okay to see the reactions all right but they react with metals and and their oxides non-metals and their oxides and what and organic compounds. So now I'm going to see principally the test for water, okay? Test for water. So if you have not liked this video, please click on that like button below right now. Do not do this to other students, please. Do not show weakness. Don't say, in my family, we know they like video, all right? In our family, we know they subscribe to person channel. In our family, we know they share. Okay, so please share, like, subscribe, okay? So let us see tests for water. We are going to see two tests for water. Two tests for water. Water can be tested, number one, using blue cobalt 2 chloride. Okay, water can be tested. Number one, water can be tested 
using what blue blue baba blue let me put see blue blue cobalt two chloride okay so we can test for water using blue cobalt two chloride all right and what happens to it that it is a what it turns to what it turns to pink okay water can be tested using blue cobalt two chloride which which turns which turns to pink okay so the pink color all right that is observed all right when cobalt two chloride is used to, to test or what uh, to test okay it's called what uh, is what is it is a test for water rather okay when blue cobalt two is used to, what, to test water it turns to what turns to pink okay so a pink coloration is what is observed when cobalt two chloride is what used to test for water all right so the simple reaction this is cobalt two chloride cocl2 reacting with what cis h2o cis h2o okay to give us what co co cl2 dot cis h2o all right this one is what is blue this one is blue cobalt chloride this one is what is pink it's a pink what cobalt to chloride all right so this is what that's what that's what happens it's the chlor it chloration turns to what pink from blue to pink you must know you must observe you must understand and you must put the color change in your head okay it turns it to what to pink it turns it to pink all right then also can you use white and hydros copper two tetra osophases okay white and hydros copper two tetra osophases number two we can use what white and hydros Copper two tetra ozo sulfate six sulfate six. Okay, which turns to blue. Turns to blue. Okay, so we can use white and hydros copper two tetra of a six which turns what the solution to what to blue white and hydros copper two tetra of a six copper sulfate cu uh, cuso4 all right so the simple reaction of course is what is cu so4 then plus what 5h2o which will give us what now cuso4 dot 5h2o all right it's as simple as a b c why this one is what is white White and hydros copper two tetras will say this one is what is blue. Okay, so the color change you must understand them. All right, so when we use cobalt two chloride, okay, it turns to what from blue to pink. But when we use what uh, white and hydros copper copper surface CuSO four, it turns to what to blue. We are going to see past questions now that what that tells us what about this. So that is, those are the two tests for water. So let us see that twenty twenty two question we started with. They say when cobalt two chloride is added to water, it turns blue to what. It don't do to pink waiting no good. Okay, it turn out to pink waiting no good. So you must what know that once cobalt cobalt two chloride CoCl two is one that is used is the reagent that is used. It turns what uh, water to what uh, uh, it turns what from blue to what to pink. All right. Then of course, let us see another year. This is a twenty eighteen question. Okay, twenty eighteen question number twenty six. Twenty eighteen number twenty six says which of the following substances can be used to identify water? Okay, to identify water, to test for water. That's another another way of saying it. A, they say uh, sodium sulfate. Okay. B, they say co uh, copper carbonate. C, they say uh, sodium carbonate. D, they say copper sulfate. Okay. Which of the following can be used to identify water? From the option here, only copper sulfate, CuSO4, can be used to, what? to identify water. Which turns it from what? From white to what? To blue. So let's see um, the third question. A 2016 question number 15. It said the presence of water in cobalt 2 chloride will change it from what? In cobalt 2 chloride, from what? From blue to pink. So you see, it's the first question, but what? In another way. Okay, so this one, I don't want you to know the color change. Okay, it's from what? From blue to pink. You must note that and know peace. All right, so. These and many more questions are on the OT School Jam app. The OT School Jam app enables you to practice vigorously like it's your exam. All right. And so success is assured. So go to Play Store, download the app, and activate immediately. And do not forget to like this video. Please like this video, subscribe, and what? And keep sharing to your friends and family. All right. Nice to see you at the top. Thank you for watching.